Hi, I'm John from Jubilart, and today we'd like to show you the steps to migrate from Mijo Shop 2 to Mijo Shop 3 for your Joomla 3 site. Let's get started. The first step, of course, is just to back up your site to make sure the migration has little risk. We're going to use Akiba in this tutorial. So we go to the Akiba backup working panel and take a full backup of our site. And the process can take some time depending on how big your site is. Once done, then take a backup of your Mijo Shop theme that you use in your site because when we uninstall Mijo Shop 2, the theme will be deleted. So you want to make sure the theme folder is moved to a safe place. Now the second step. Let's download the Mijo Shop database migration tool, extract the package, and upload these two folders, vqmod and admin, and we will put them in the folder open cart, which you'll find inside the com underscore Mijo Shop folder. Our upload is now done, so let's go to the Site Admin panel, then the Mijo Shop component, Access System, and the BQ Mod Manager, and find the Mijo Shop DB migration, and we're going to uninstall it. Great. Now let's install it again. We go to the User Group Manager panel and edit the Top Administrator User Group, assigning all access permissions and modify permissions for the Top Administrator, and then save these settings. Now go to System, DB Migration, and hit the Migrate Database button, and this will migrate the database from Mijo Shop 2 to Mijo Shop 3. And this step also could take some time. Great, the database is migrated successfully. Now let's back up the media of Mijo Shop 2. And now uninstall Mijo Shop 2 from your Joomla site. Search for the Mijo Shop extension. We need to uninstall the Mijo Shop component and finally the Mijo Shop jQuery plugin. Well done. Mijo Shop 2 has been uninstalled successfully. Now the next step is to install Mijo Shop 3. We download it from the Mijo Shop site, making sure we select version 3, extract the package, and then go to your site's back end, to the Extensions Manager, and install the Mijo Shop component, the Mijo Shop jQuery plugin, and the Mijo Shop library. Now we need to add our Mijo Shop personal ID. We log into Mijo Shop with your account, hit the personal ID and copy it, and then go to the Mijo Shop setting and paste the personal ID and then save the setting. Now we go to the user group manager. and edit the top administrator and assign all access and modify permissions and then save the settings. So now we're done with the database migration from Mijo Shop 2 to Mijo Shop 3. The next step we're going to configure the Mijo Shop 3 component. Now if your site uses a custom theme you need to download it and upload it to the theme folder inside the com underscore Mijo Shop open cart. And once the upload is done, you go to the Mijo Shop setting panel and set the custom theme as the default theme.
And now we can configure the settings as we did with Mijo Shop 2. And now we need to create all the modules that we did for Mijo Shop 2. adding the title and configuring the settings, and then save. And we're going to assign the module to a specific layout. Go to the design panel, edit the layout you want, Create the new module, assign the module we just created, and assign a position for the module. And then you'll simply replicate this process to create all your other modules. And that's it. We've successfully migrated from Micho Shop 2 to Micho Shop 3. Check out more of our videos at youtube.com slash Thanks for watching.